Welcome, this is Nick's Fort. My name is Nick, and today is To The Frickin' Point Friday. Yeah, yeah. And today we're gonna get to the frickin' point about how to use LUTs to color grade your footage. So we are in Premiere Pro here, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to right click here, new item, adjustment layer. Boom, bingo. And then we're gonna go up top here and we're gonna select color. And now we are in the color workspace. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this adjustment layer down, put it above the clip that I am color grading. And I have this layer locked because I don't want to adjust the actual clip. I want to put the color LUT on the adjustment layer. And so I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna click Lumetri Scopes. I've got my Luma open here for my uh, waveform for the type is the Luma right there, boom. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my Lumetri color on the right hand side, go down to Creative, under Creative there's Look, select Browse, and then you've got a folder full of your LUTs, obviously, and Curve Boost I know works well on my Sony footage, this is Sony footage and it's dope. And then I've got that dropped on that adjustment layer and you can see what it's done over here. There is an intensity slider right here. If I put that down to zero, that's the original. You can go way up, that's way too much. We're gonna keep it at 100. On some clips, you might need to slide that intensity up and down a little bit and that's gonna help with the, uh, the, the LUT. So if the LUT isn't made for your camera footage specifically, you slide the intensity up and down to kind of manipulate how much is being applied. So that's an important tool to use when you're using a LUT. Now, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some minor tweaks to the footage. And for this one, the exposure is right at the top right there. I don't think it looks terrible, but I might bring that down just a tiny smidge. And that kind of, you know, brought my shadows down a little. So I'm gonna go down to color wheels and I'm gonna bring those up a smidge. And then I'm gonna actually bring my blacks down, ba basic correction again, I'm gonna bring those down a little bit. And the color temperature, I would adjust the color temperature right here if it was off. It doesn't look too warm or cold to me. It looks like it was properly done for the day. So I'm gonna leave that. And if I needed to, I might do some slight adjustments in the curves, but I kind of like how this looks. I like, like the look out of the box here with the LUT. If I do this FX tab, I can toggle it on and off, see what it looks like. And that's pretty, that looks pretty good to me. So then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, drag that across the rest of my clips that I'm going to be editing. And I'm gonna see how it looks on those. Wow, what a nice face. And then, wow. Another nice face. So like on this clip right here, I might need to make a, a little micro adjustment. So I'm gonna cut the adjustment layer, bum bum. And the micro adjustment is down here. You see the blacks are getting crushed a little bit. So I'm gonna bring those there, okay? And so now we're not losing that information on that clip. It's gonna still go really well with the clip before. And actually the clip before, we're getting some blacks crushed too. So that's telling me that maybe I crushed my blacks a little too much on the front of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on this one too, bring it up a little bit right there. Okay, and then basically you're just gonna go through the rest of your clips and if you see like, whoa, that's really overexposed, I'm gonna go ahead and bring that down right there and that looks good. And so as you go through, you apply the LUT to different clips. Sometimes it's just gonna work right away and that's freaking fantastic. And if it doesn't, then you just gotta dial it around. You, you know, expose it more, bring your blacks up, bring them down. Like just, you just gotta adjust your highlights and, and your shadows and move everything around to make it work for you. But with LUTs and color grading with LUTs, you can get stuff done fast, which is sweet. <laughs> I'm going to discount my LUTs for the next five days. I'm gonna do 50% off my LUTs. So if you wanna go check them out, they are linked below. If you want to learn more about color grading, I'm gonna link above and below to a bunch of other color grading tutorials that I've done. And I literally, I have to go get my beard trimmed now. Peace.